Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given this circuit, and here we have been asked to find the data on the bus at this time T two. So first of all, let us understand the question and let us see what has been given to us. So as you can see over here, this A represents the parallel in parallel out shift register. So as you can see over here, this output of the data bus. is connected as an input to the shift register and the output of the shift register is connected to this rom so here this rom is the 16 cross 4 rom and as you can see the output of the rom is connected back to the data bus so here at the rising clock edge whatever input that is available on the data bus will get loaded into this shift register and as soon as it gets loaded then it will be available as an input to this rom So here the input to the ROM will act as an address input for this ROM and whatever data that is stored at this specific address that will be available at the output of the ROM so here we have been given the partial table corresponding to the data that is stored in the ROM at the specific addresses so here in the question we have been given that at time t is equal to t1 the data that is available on the data bus is equal to 0110 so this data will get loaded into the shift register at the rising gauge and after the rising gauge the same will be available at the output of this shift register or in other words that will be the input to the rom so this 0110 will be the address input for this rom and whatever data that is stored at this specific address will be available at the output of this rom so as you know internally the rom consists of the decoder and the memory cell so depending on the specific address the one of the output of the decoder will get enabled and whatever data that is stored at the specific address will be available at the output so here as per the table which is given to us the 0110 in the decimal corresponds to 6 and as you can see at the 6th address the data that is stored in the rom is equal to 1010 that means after the first rising gauge the data that is available from the rom is equal to 1010 and the same will be available on the data bus so now at the next rising gauge this 1010 will get loaded into the shift register and the same will also be available as an input to the rom so now after this second clock edge the input to the rom is equal to 1010 then in the decimal that corresponds to 10 so as you can see from the table the data that is stored at this 10th address is equal to 1000 and the same will be available at the output that means after the second clock edge the data on the data bus is equal to 1000 and if we see the data on the data bus at this time t is equal to t2 then that will be equal to 1000 so from this we can say that for the given circuit the data that is available on the data bus at time t is equal to t2 is equal to 1000 and therefore for the given question this is the correct answer